So I'm going to install Java JDK Maven and IntelliJ on Windows. I'm using a virtual machine here. So currently I don't have any of those things installed. Let's have a look. Java, Java C minus version. I have to use the Java C, which is the Java compiler. Doesn't exist. Maven MVN minus version doesn't exist. IntelliJ isn't installed either. Now the easy way to install this is using an application called Chocolatey. So the first thing I have to do is install Chocolatey. And to do that, I need to get a browser up. I need to go off to chocolatey.org. So to install Chocolatey, it doesn't have a um, installer app. I have to go to the install page and run a script. It tells me what exactly I have to do there. So I can either use PowerShell running as an administrator or cmd.exe. For either of them, I just copy and paste this string in. So I'm gonna try, so the easiest way for me to do this on this virtual machine is to right click on the Windows icon and choose Windows PowerShell Admin. Yes, I do. Then I will run the PowerShell command that's in here. If I could have got the normal Windows menu up here, I would have typed in CMD, been offered the command line, right clicked on that and said run as administrator. But doing Alt X or Windows X or right click on here to get the PowerShell up in admin mode and do Control V to get that information in, this should work. Okay, so it gave us a whole bunch of messages as it went through there. It said we might not be able to use Chocolatey straight away, so let's try it. Choco, that's how these, that's the command for running Chocolatey. And it says we're good, so let's do it. Now we need to install, first of all, the JDK9. So in Chocolatey, there's a bunch of packages. You should be able to search in the packages for the application software that you want. I find sometimes it's a little bit hard to find some of the ones that I want. So what I very often do, and this is how I found the Java JDK 9 one, is I will use Google. So I'm going to use Google, and I'm going to search for JDK 9 in Chocolatey. So I cite chocolatey.org JDK 9, and then it has found it. That to me was easier than using the Chocolatey packaging. But what I learned from this is that if I ever want to search for it again, I could use the tag. So there's a JDK tag here. If I click on that, I'll see the search up here, tag JDK. If I sort this by most recent, there's Java SE 9.0.11. And it tells me I need to do Choco install JDK 9 to get this working. So let's try that. Choco install JDK 9. Now the reason I started using Chocolate is I was running a Java for Testers training course and we had a couple of laptops that, if you don't want to run this, confirm automatically use minus Y. Okay, let's say yes. So we had a couple of laptops that were loaner laptops. They didn't have anything installed on it. And I had to very quickly, in the 20 minutes before starting the class, install the Java JDK, Maven and IntelliJ on two laptops, I think it was, and they were not in English. <laughs> it was in foreign language that I do not speak. So I used Chocolatey to help me do that. And now Chocolate is my default for installing a JDK in Maven. In fact, on my main machine, this was the only way that I managed to install the Java JDK with the source zip which lets me look at the source code with an IntelliJ so not sure why might be that because chocolate is running under admin mode but uh, that is what I use to install JDK so now this is pretty much what I use to install JDK and Maven on any Windows machines that I'm about to use. Okay so this might not work 
this might not work because it's saying we might have to close our shell but let's see java c minus version if it's on the path and it picks up then we've got it installed okay so what i have to do is close this down right click here run powershell in admin mode because i'm going to use choco again all right java c so java jdk is installed so now what i want to do is choco install maven how do i know that or if i do a search for maven in the chocolatey packages maven 3.5.2 choco install maven So even though there it's saying that it needs to install JDK 8, shouldn't install JDK 8 because JDK 1. Point, JDK 9 was just installed. But it's going to install JDK 8 as well. All right. This may take some time. I think the last time I did this, I was working on JDK 8, so I didn't notice that. Because JDK 9 is out, but not fully... Um, this is one of the difficulties with using package managers. Um, you don't control all the dependencies. So you either amend the scripts out there or you take what you're given. And we're gonna take what we're given because this is easier. Now, if you're not on a virtual machine, this would be a lot faster than I am installing this. Or you could just stick with JDK 8, in which case just install a Maven or do the job. I suspect it has probably overridden the Java 1.9. Let's have a look. I'm going to close this down, start it up again. Java C minus version. Oh, so it's left the Java 9 version there. So that's good. So even though we installed Java 1.8 as well, didn't make any difference for command line arguments. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off to GitHub, my account on GitHub slash evil tester, where I have a repository, if I look in repositories, for start using Java JUnit. I'm gonna download this, because this is a very simple project, which allows me to check whether Java and Maven are installed. So if I open folder where that is should be in the downloads let's extract this so the fastest way to get a command line get up explorer to cmd there we go so in here now there's the pom.xml file. So from the directory that has the pom.xml file in it, I want to do use the command mvn maven test. This should compile and run the project that we've just downloaded. It will download the dependencies it needs because we're using maven, that's what maven does. Now I only download the dependencies once, so the next time I run that, it will be faster. There we go. So I have installed Maven and I have installed Java and I have checked that by running a test. So the next thing I want to install is IntelliJ, the IDE that we're going to use. So I'm going to do a search for IntelliJ. JetBrains Community Edition, that's the free version, that's what we want. So I'm going to take this command here. And I am going to run that from the admin PowerShell. Now I could just go off to uh, JetBrains and download it. Yes, I want to install that. So I could just go off to JetBrains idea, download and then download the community edition and then just use the normal .exe installer. 
But because I'm using chocolate here, I'm just making things easy by using the same process. So essentially all I have to do is install chocolate and run three commands and then I'm pretty much installed. Okay, so how do I run this? Now on a normal <laughs> VA, oh it's working. No it's not. Apps, IntelliJ, there we go. So I can close down this PowerShell window now. Don't need the browsers. Use all defaults. So I'm going to open the project because it's a Maven project on disk. I'm just going to open the project that we ran already. So that should be in my downloads. There it is. I want the folder that's got the Maven project in it, which is that one. Okay. That's the one that's got the pom.xml file. So it's still running processes. When these finish, we'll get started. Okay, so if I go and look in source now, I can see my first test. And if I right click and run that, oh, so it's telling me the SDK has not been set up. So what I'll do is I'll click that, configure a new SDK, add the SDK, it's a JDK. And where has Java installed itself? Program files, Java, JDK 9, let's use that one. If I run that, once it's indexed everything, I'll be able to run the test. So now I should be able to right click on the test and run it. And there we go. So now I have IntelliJ set up. I've got Maven working. I've got the Java JDK. I'm good to start developing in Java with Java 1.9 there. I will put the instructions for using Chocolatey in the video description, but only really three commands needed to install the machine setup. And if you're running on a non-virtual machine, this will probably take about 10, 15 minutes on a virtual machine. This will take me about an hour. 